All right, welcome back to Andy Plays DGV. It's a new day, it's a lovely day to play a round of multiplayer in the valley. Let's jump in and see how we do, see who we get, see what courses we play on. Let's see if we can find a match. Had to wait quite a while earlier to find a match, so we'll, we'll see. And we've got a match here with Alwood, Maple Hill and Nokia Disc Golf Park. Ooh, Maple Hill 10 and 17. Uh, I don't know the back nine of Maple Hill very well, if at all. I think I've played through the back nine only a handful of times. Oh, I don't like this hole. I like to aim at this tree with the rive on a forehand. We've got a full card now, though. And that's turning over quite a lot. And it's stayed in the out-of-bounds pocket. That's a great start. That really is a great start, I think. I'm kind of tempted to just try and power my way through here. And I'm not sure if this is the right thing to do, but let's give it a go. Power! We made it. And we'll take our par. And everybody else got birdies. So a bit of catching up to do after hole one, but luckily there's eight more to go. So lots of time to uh, to catch up. And this hole, we'll take the roll sapphire. Give it quite a bit of hyzer. Trying to avoid being too far underneath this bush. Always end up underneath this bush. And in for birdie. And it looks like everybody did the same. Nice little star frame. Onto hole three, par four. Uh, ooh, interesting wind. Big tailwind. Huh. Kind of tempted to go with the Royal Sapphire or the Glide Sapphire off the tee, actually. I think I am going to do that. Does this is this gonna have the distance? Well, in one way to find out. Ah, that looks okay. Slide and that's fine. How's the angle? The angle is very nice into the pin. Let's see if we can cook up a little uh, little tasty birdie here. I mean, a little tasty eagle. Ooh, come back to the right for me. There we go. Nope. I oh. uh, tried. Gave it a good run. Wasn't to be. We'll take the birdie, though. Uh, moving on to the next course, which was Maple Hill. Hole three. Oh, okay. I know this one. This one's the where it's up on top of the, the raised platform. But this is from the FPO pin. I don't think I've played the FPO pin, so I think I'm. I think I'm just going to throw it up here and try and throw it out to the le right. Sorry, and try and get close. That is way too close. I think I'm probably don't have a look. No, nope. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Oh dear. Okay. Wow, that was lucky. And lots of people taking pars there. So, P3 Wiz has got a nice little advantage here. And this hole, aim down low, take some pace off with the putter. And that will do nicely. Thank you very much. And how's everybody else done? Got birdie coming in there. Another birdie. But it looks like P3 Wiz is going to take a par. So one shot behind everybody else. That's all at 
four under at the moment. Okay. This hole, 169, quite a long way away. What's the play here? I, I genuinely don't know, because I've, I've, I've not played this hole, really. Um, do I lay up with a sapphire just on the other side of the trees? Or do I try and throw the rive on a flex shot and kind of skip towards the basket? I think that's what I want to do. So let's flex this out to the left. Hopefully it comes back. It does skip. Right, if that stump hadn't got in the way, I think that would have been a kind of exactly what I wanted. Nice. Get the eagle. Okay. So now we're tied in the lead. Three holes to go. On to Noki Disc Golf Park. Which I do know a little bit better, luckily. Uh, accurate roll. Sapphire on a forehand. A high as a flip. It comes back. Oh, I missed that tree. Yes. Nice. Yeah, I find this hole to be a little bit decepti deceptive. I think it's more downhill than you than you realize off the tee. So very easy to get there with a roll sapphire. Someone's taking a par. P3 Wiz has taken a par, and Alza seems to have gotten into a little bit of trouble with some trees, but they managed to come through for a par. So we now have the solo lead at the moment, two holes to go. And this hole, slide to the left, aim up, down over here, half a disc of hyzer with the flippy paradigm, like glide paradigm, but we've gone right into the trees. Wind pushed this a little more than I was expecting, but then again, I was using a light disc, so what do I expect really? Quite a bit downhill. I'm scared of fading out to the left. Okay. I think we'll just take par. There we go. I also managed to get the birdie. Well done. And so we're now tied with Elsa going into the final hole. So, final hole playoff showdown. Oh, and I like this hole. Okay. Forehand. Accurate roll sapphire. Just kind of throw it up there. Let it fade out to the right. That was a little bit further back than I really wanted, but that's okay. And now I'm going to take the paradigm. Aim over here. Half a disc of hyzer. Oh, that didn't turn anywhere near as much as I wanted it to. Don't hit that tree. Oh! Stay in bounds. Whoa. Got lucky there. Really lucky there. How's Elsa doing? Oh, they went out of bounds. Okay. I think I'm going to throw the claymore up there. Try and get through this gap here. Stop. 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 Don't go. No. I went too long. Oh, no. Okay. Pup. Uh, do we do we get yes we got the solo win nice wow cool that that was kind of stressful on the last hole wow okay cool nice to get the win hope you enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time